Hi, Flush Tacks. First of all, thanks so much for y'all's questions. You have got some of the best questions going on. In regard to the liver question about the liver discomfort in adding the lemon, let's go back to the Flush Tacks format of adding your lemon at the front end of your meal, a small amount, or with your Zinger drink, all right? And then at the end of the day, you're gonna be adding your salty dog drink. Now, the point of this is, is that lemon is drying, okay? So the liver is almost like, he's like a master chef, and your other organs are more like a sous chef. And if y'all don't know much about chefs, then um, the master chef um, is the one that, that orchestrates everything and is in charge of all of the big nutrients. And a sous chef actually does the work. Well, the liver is actually the area's right area, right on the right side of your rib cage area, right underneath the right, the base of it. And what happens with the liver is that it is not only going to be the part of the body that helps to clean and capture all the heavy metals and the toxins and the the pesticides and herbicides to keep it from circulating into your digestive system. But the liver is also where your body assimilates and makes the hormones. So um, for example, 20% of your overall nutrition will go to your brain and 40% of that will go to your eyes, to the front end of your body, your head and the back end. So if you have bad eyesight or something going on with your vision or in your brain, headaches, you're going to be thinking, oh, clean the liver. So when you are drinking the lemon water, now lemon water is really great. See, it's got vitamin C that helps with your Krebs cycle, helps improve your, your energy production, and also helps cleanse, but it's drying. Lim, lemon is very drying. So if you go into more of the oils, that will be a little bit better. The problem is, is that we want to keep the oils in a format that you're going to be making hormones, okay? So keeping that liver and the colon moist and then cleansed. So we're gonna be using your acid and your base. So we would take like your acid form, like your lemons and your citrus, and you're going to use uh, your vinegars, what have you. Those are gonna to help to strip the gallstones and the kidney stones and help improve the function. If it's in a water format on a regular basis, it's gonna cause drying on the colon. So if you have a moist colon, that's okay. But once you start cleaning out the mucus layers, you're gonna to wanna to start adding more fatty acids to help to restore moisture to your system. So the drier your system is, the harder it is on your liver. Um, that is an example. I don't know specifically what's going on with the liver, but if you um, were to come in, we ran some biofeedback checks and I did some uh, measurements on your body and, and did a little bit more analysis, we could get a little more detailed. But with overall function on that, that's going to help give you an idea of why flesh tax has Lemon at the front end of a meal helps stimulate the saliva. Did I say it right? The saliva <laughs> to help increase your water, your your um, enzymes, and your antibacterials in your mouth. But if you continue on taking too much lemon, it's going to reabsorb and start drying. Okay. So that was a great question and add some more fatty acids with that. If you'll stick with the format of the flush tikes the way the eating pattern is, the 10 o'clock and the four o'clock or 10 o'clock, three to four o'clock afternoon snack, the morning snack and the afternoon snack, we'll have a fatty acid complex um, with a fiber and a protein that's going to help to fuel fatty acids throughout your day to help maintain a little bit more. Also the saucy sauce. Um, if the, those of you that are clients of mine, as part of your protocol program and that, that does come with, um, your fees involved with um, being one of my client regiments. If you're not, if you would like to have that, um, we will have a book available for that that you can purchase. Um, otherwise, I think you might be able to snag it down in some of the feed down lower in the in the, the group. If anybody has that list handy, pop it out there and that would be great to share. I personally don't have it on my computer right now to share it with you. All right, if you have any questions, mention below. Thanks guys.